Hello, Star Wars Rebels fans. My name's Joel Robinson, and this is the big picture of Star Wars Rebels. Let's talk about the big, overarching story of Star Wars Rebels. For this, I will be basing all the topics I discuss on the Star Wars movies, Star Wars Rebels, Rebels Recon, and my other theory crafting videos. Yeah. So, so far in the canon storyline, we are right around the time for the formation of the Rebel Alliance. Originally in the canon, it was Mon Mothma that was the major founding leader of the Rebel Alliance. But currently, she has not been seen or even mentioned in Rebels. Does this mean that she won't be featured in the show at all? Well, no. It simply means our small-scale Rebels aren't involved in the Greater Rebel Alliance. Yet. In the Rebels episode, Call to Action, our small group of Rebels broadcast a message of hope rebellion, and literally a call to action to several nearby planets. It is my thought that this message will reach the ears of Bail Organa, Leia's father, and an influential member in the founding of the Rebel Alliance. Once Bail Organa hears their message, I think he will decide to invite these small-scale rebels to join the larger Rebel Alliance. It is clear from the episode Droids in the Stress, Bail has interest in our rebels, as he leaves that cryptic monologue to R2-D2, which I guess isn't technically a monologue, but you get my point. Now we have to get into some major spoilers, so if you've not seen the episode Call to Action, I would suggest you watch one of my other videos. Alright, here we go. So Kanan was taken prisoner by the Empire, and now our rebels must save him. It is my belief that Ezra, Hera, Sabine, and Zeb will enlist the help of Fulcrum to save Kanan. Fulcrum at this point will be revealed to be Ahsoka, and will enlist the aid of Bail Organa to help in their rescue mission. How do we know that Fulcrum is Ahsoka? Well, besides the clues, which I dive into in this previous theory crafting video here, other sources like MakingStarWars.net and a French dub sheet for Rebels are now confirming that Fulcrum is indeed Ahsoka. Tell me what you think down in the comments. Are you excited that Fulcrum is Ahsoka? Or did you wish that someone else was playing our mysterious Rebels shadow leader? So story-wise, teaming up with Fulcrum will be a huge opportunity for our small-scale Rebels to be a part of the larger Rebel Alliance. It is possible that if, or should I say when, they save Kanan, they could be the catalyst to help unite the Rebel Alliance. So from my other theory crafting video, it is clear that we are coming closer and closer to the Death Star being a part of Rebels. But what if Kanan is taken prisoner on the Death Star? He is a high-profile prisoner and therefore, the Empire will want to interrogate him for every detail they can get. From A New Hope, it is known that the Death Star is the prison for these high-level criminals. Even if at this time it isn't used for blowing up planets, at the moment, it is one of the Empire's most secure floating prisons. On top of all that, I believe Kanan will discover the fate of what happened to Ezra's parents. Who knows? What if they too are being held prisoner on the Death Star? In fact, it was only four weeks ago that I predicted Kanan's capture by the Empire. So, so far in the Rebels series, the clues have been pretty straightforward, even if Dave Filoni is trying to keep us in suspense. But here we arrive at my most far-fetched theory yet. While Kanan is being held captive, he could be taken to Vader, and maybe even the Emperor, and they could tempt him to come to the dark side. Imagine the possibilities of what this would do to Kanan. And to Ezra, hold on, wait a second, how do we even know that Vader or the Emperor are going to be in the series? Well, Interim Fanboy, thank you, I appreciate your curiosity, but those details are for another video. Thank you so much for watching this video, make sure to subscribe, and let me know down in the comments what you think, because that was a lot of different theories I covered, and I'm sure that I might have missed a few details. And, may the Force be with you, always.